Hey everyone, thanks for coming over to Heavy Metal Guns and Outdoors. As you know, Hootie Hoo ordered some goodies. We're going to unveil them and see what kind of cool stuff we right, have. The little one, this says a Ruger American Rifle. Let's see what Mr. Who has got himself into today. Enough packaging in there. Go ahead and grab that bad boy there. Yeah. I'm a fan of these babies. Anybody know what these are? I'll flip it around, you can see the sticker there. And these even come with the threaded barrel from the factory. This is in a 6.5 Creedmoor. Well, that thing is just nice, ain't it? Yep, and they come with the rail already on the top. Well, that bolt, guys, wish I'd be here to feel that. And that thing just slick as butter. And this one we ordered with the full length standard barrel to match my 308 and 306. Yep, and that is threaded too, ain't it? Mm hmm. Oh, cool. Here's your bolt. There's your lock. I feel like that bolt is fatter than the 308. But yeah, it's really slick, man. We're going to have to put an optic on that and get the partying on it. Yeah, that is just awesome. Make sure I got everything out of the box. Let us know ideas for videos with this rifle. Yeah, because that is a nice rifle. Good choice on that, man. Good choice. Oh, they don't have that nut crammed down hard on there either. That's good. Well, cool. You'll have to uh, look up I see how much uh, recoil this has. I'm thinking I have a ton. But then again, y'all might want to suggest some type of muzzle brakes if you have any uh, experience with the 6.5. Because this does have a threaded barrel. So it gives Hooty Who the opportunity to set it up the way he wants. Awesome, man. Good choice. Good choice. That nice accu trigger going on there. Yes, I like that. Now, surely you don't want to see what's in that old big ugly box, do you? Yeah, I really want to see what's in the big box. Well, Adam went ahead and cut on this, so let's open her up and see what this big old box is all about. Man. I might be a little bit more excited about this one than that other one. Yeah. Love them Ruger Americans, i tell you what, they're just nice rifles. What is this humongous thing, man? Well, i tell you what, the box is a lot longer than that other one. Accessories, I don't know what's in there. No, oh, we're grabbing the knife. You look at it, and I'll open up the sesame box for you. That other one was a Ruger. This one is a savage. Anybody ever heard? First of all, look at that muzzle brake on the end there. Anybody ever heard of a savage 110 BA stealth? This has a adjustable, if I can figure out how to adjust it. Yeah, it's got that adjustable stock, six positions. Has an adjustable cheek riser, has a full rail, has a fluted barrel. And this one's got the 24 inch barrel, but if you hadn't guessed it yet, this one is chambered in 338 Lapua Magnum. That's going to be a hoss right there. Definitely going to have some fun with this one. 
That's got to have the magazine in it, the bolt. Yeah, here's your bolt. Yeah. The size of this mag, man, it's humongous. Oh, they can put your earplugs in there. They know it's going to be loud. Wow. Well. <laughs> All right, let me show y'all how we do the bolt. Do you want to hold it? In order to get the bolt to enter out on these, you have to pull the trigger, then this will come all the way down. Hmm. I reckon one of their uh, little safety things going on there. Okay. Yeah. There we go, just had to hold her mouth right. But yeah, you have to pull the trigger, and this little release here, in order to get the bolt in. There you go, sir. I got a lot of grease on this thing. Well, that's a smooth bolt. This is that. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a fun one to shoot, too. I think it's going to be awesome. I'm... I bet the recoil won't be too terrible with that long barrel and that monster muzzle brake. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be pretty awesome. That's in there pretty good. Good. Really like that. Another long range sniper rifle. Yep, got a nice stock, nice butt pad, adjustable cheek riser. Well, you could really just set this thing up righteous. Well, that's just good size right there. Okay, my ex taper again. Yeah, there we go. Know. That thing just screams wicked. And we're going to have to put some kind of optics on this one too. These have got that M-lock style rail on them. You can put all kind of stuff. Going to need a bipod for this one for sure. Most definitely. But it's pretty light for what it is. It's a lot lighter. A Barrett 50 BMG is 30 pounds. I'd say this is probably only like I don't know, 12, 15 pounds. Yeah, it's not that heavy. You could actually take that out and shoot it. Or hunt some deer with it. Now that's the one you showed me that uh, the guy hit that mile long shot with. Yeah. So, uh, 338 Lapua, definitely no joke. Uh, this is a reach out there and touch something rifle. Uh, definitely see Hootie Hoo doing a lot of tests with this. Wonder how many paper plates it's gonna to take to stop that one. I say a lot. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of water jugs, no doubt. And guys don't even ask. I don't have enough books to do a test on that one. I do not believe. Well that is awesome, man. Yeah. We got the 65 Creedmoor, we got the 338 Lapua Magnum. And like I said, we got another project. Gun number three that came in, but I can't tell you about it. See if y'all can guess what that one is, too. Yeah, hush, hush. Well, hoody ho, you made some very, very good choices in your rifles today. I'm tickled that you got you some nice stuff. That is just awesome. Guys, if you have any suggestions on things that he should be shooting, and like I say, uh, Suggestion on a muzzle brake for the 6.5 since it does have a threaded barrel or any kind of a particular ammo you've heard of, you want to throw it his way, he'll be happy to shoot it and do some tests on it. Well everyone, thanks for coming over and checking out the video. You just got to love the new rifles that Hootie Who purchased. I mean, they've done very well in my opinion and I picked out some very nice ones. Uh, looking forward to watching his videos and for those y'all on the channel that haven't seen Hootie Who, you need to get over there. He's got some awesome videos and he is the one that helped me get started in making these YouTube videos. So get over there and check out my buddy Hootie Who and remember hit that subscribe button for him y'all. Again everyone thanks, thank you very much. 
And if you would, leave us some comments, questions, and suggestions. And hit us up on Patreon. Show some support there. And once again, we appreciate it. And we hope you have a fantastic day.